The Pure Heart Foundation does incredible work for children who really need it. But this week, the charity that works to lift up children whose parents are behind bars uh, had their home ransacked, windows busted, paint splashed all over the place, and the appliances are gone. Larry Spruill is live at that home tonight for us. Good evening, Larry. Kimberly and Jason, I have a report on a lot of break ins here during my time here in Detroit, but this one is different. That's because this organization helps kids whose parents are in jail, but really the thieves did not care. Take a look at the damage. You can see the boarded up window where they broke the window glass on the ground right there. They even tried to destroy the doorbell, but this organization tells me this won't stop them. 76% of kids with a parent incarcerated end up in prison. It's no secret. Cheryl Hogan gives her all to her organization, Pure Heart Foundation, and the kids a part of it. Its purpose is to help and guide kids because their parents are currently in prison. We started with 20 kids five years ago. We have served over 2,500 kids. We see 350 of them consistently. That's why she bought this home on East McNichols on Detroit's east side. It's a place where the kids could come and feel safe. So they don't have a place that's really considered home for them. So this space was big. It has enough rooms to do exactly what we strive to do at Pure Heart. But early Friday morning around midnight, thieves ransacked those plans. I'm furious and I'm heartbroken that people will do this knowing what we're fighting for. We're fighting for kids. They broke into the home, kicking in the door and breaking the window. They they stole it a lot. They stole the refrigerator, the stove, the furnace, the hot water tank. But that's not it. They took that and poured paint over it. Hap donated over a hundred of these care packages with school supplies and toiletries in it. They left one. They stole uh, everything. Even destroyed the security system. This was a blow. Um, enormously for me and especially my kids. They're already calling and texting, Ms. Sherelle, what do we do now? We fight, we do what's necessary. We, um, we bring awareness to what has happened and we keep moving forward. And so here's really the messed up part besides the damage. Hogan tells me that she planned on opening up the center to her students and her kids tomorrow with the grand opening happening in April. But because of what happened here, she will have to push that back. Meanwhile, police are investigating. We're live on the Detroit Seaside tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Yeah, it's really upsetting. And Larry, is she able to put a number on how much damage was done to the home? You know, Jason, well, she's still counting all that up. As you have to remember, the electronics were new. Everything was pretty much new. The damage here, we're talking about more than $16,000, Jason. Yeah, you just hope police are able to get to the bottom of this. All right, Larry, thanks.